The ClinVar database is rapidly growing, and new data are submitted to ClinVar almost daily. The ClinVar team is focused on processing those submissions and making the data available quickly. This video introduces an exciting new feature, pre-validation, for those of you uploading files for your ClinVar submissions. You now have more control over how to deal with errors in your submitted files. In particular, you can choose to have the data that passes pre-validation immediately sent to us. Let's look at the details. I'll start in the ClinVar Submission Portal and go directly to the Upload Submission Files section of the page and click the button Upload New File Submission. Basically, I'll be moving through the steps given in the tabs near the top of the page. The pre-validation feature comes up in the last step, Review and Submit. In Submission Information, make sure you have the correct submission format. Excel spreadsheet in my case. And you are required to select the genome assembly on which your variants are mapped. I'll click Save and Continue. And in the Organization step, the defaults apply to me, so I'll click Save and Continue. And now I get to upload my submission file. So I'll browse for and select my Excel file. And you guessed it, click on Save and Continue. The system detected that my file did not contain assertion criteria. We encourage you to submit such criteria because it lets others know your rules for classifying variants. However, you can continue without the assertion criteria. We're now at the Review and Submit step. As in the past, we request that you review your submission using the previous tabs as necessary. The new feature is the pre-validation step down the page and you have two options. If your goal is to get your data into ClinVar as quickly as possible, we suggest the second option, validate and submit the records that pass. If you want all of your data to be processed together, then you might want option one, where any errors will stop the submission and give you the opportunity to correct those errors and resubmit the file. I'm going to choose option two for my submission. This new text indicates that my file is in the pre-validation process and that I will be notified by email and on this page when pre-validation is complete. My file is only three rows of data, so I'll be notified in a few minutes. Since I chose option two, any data rows without errors will automatically be submitted, but keep in mind that additional checks will be performed by ClinVar staff, so you may be contacted before submission of those data is complete. In my case, none of the rows passed pre-validation, so let's take a look at the new file provided to me that both marks and explains the errors. These yellow filled cells indicate the data that failed. The first row has an error in the HGVS expression. The second row has a problem with the paired data, condition ID type, and condition ID value. And the third row has an error in the value given for clinical significance. To get some help fixing these errors, move over to column AA. Here we see that the reference allele for this transcript variant should be a G, not a T. So we need to check our data and either correct or remove that variant. In the second row, where we had a problem with the condition ID, it looks like the ID value is not found in MedGen. So we need to follow the advice given here to find a valid identifier from OMIM, OrphanNet, etc or a name if no identifier exists. And in the third row, my term disease causing is not an accepted term, but we provide a URL for the ClinVar documentation on clinical significance options. I've gone back to my submitted file and corrected all of the errors. But one note, when making your corrections in the light template, be sure to check both the variant and experimental evidence sheets in your Excel file. So I'll go back to the Submission File tab, delete the original submission, and upload my corrected demo file. I won't show stepping through the Assertion Criteria page. I'll go directly to Review and Submit. But this time I'll use Option 1 and click on Validate and Stop if there are errors. Now I am notified that all rows in my file passed pre-validation and the file has been submitted to ClinVar. As I said earlier, 
Additional checks will be performed by ClinVar staff, so you may be contacted before submission of those data is complete. That's all for this demonstration. If you have any questions or feedback, please write to clinvar at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov.